The key to managing styles in Web Studio is the style sources UI. First item you see is the local style source. It is provided by default and you cannot remove it. All styles that you apply are applying to this local style source. Let's add a heading. I will now style this heading with some typography settings. Let's select this font size, color, size, and line height. Now, what if I want to create another heading that is slightly smaller? Let's add another heading. I want to apply the same styles from this heading to a new heading, but the local styles are not reusable. What we can do is we can convert local styles to a design token. We name it title. To apply title to another element, we hit the element, we find the token and apply it. The next question is what if I want the second heading to be slightly smaller? I can duplicate the title and remove the previous one. This way they look exactly the same, but they have different tokens. The problem with this approach is if I want to change both at once. Imagine you have a large site with hundreds of titles. Now, if I want to change it, I would have to apply the change to both tokens. First one and the second one. Let's undo all of that. Instead of duplicating the token and having all that information twice, I can add another token. Let's call it small. On this token, I can set a size that I want it to have. And now we have the same styles, but one is smaller. What if I want to have one heading that has again a different styling, but the case is unique, it's only once. Let's copy this heading and create a local override. To do so, I'm going to move this local style source a band. The last one overrides the previous one. On the local override, I'm going to define a new color. And this is only going to impact this one element, as opposed to others. The colors on the labels indicate where the value is coming from. The blue one indicates that it comes from the current selected style source. And the value comes from indicates where exactly it was defined, on which breakpoint, on which token or style source, and on which element. If I don't like the value, I can hit reset.